Today on Paul's Old Crap, we're going to talk about PhoneNet and PhoneNet adapters in particular. I first got to experience PhoneNet in the early 90s as my elementary school I attended had a lab of Macintosh classics all connected with basic PhoneNet adapters. Now, Farallon did put out a number of products under the PhoneNet name, but we're going to look specifically at these little adapters. The PhoneNet adapter was originally designed by members of the Berkeley Macintosh Users Group and sold by Farallon Computing starting in around the mid to late 1980s. PhoneNet became a popular competitor for Apple's own local talk adapter as PhoneNet could be used with standard RJ11 phone lines instead of the more expensive cables from Apple. While Apple Talk communication speed was still limited to 230 kilobits a second, PhoneNet claimed to offer a maximum network distance of 4,000 feet, giving it the advantage over Apple for installations in large buildings. PhoneNet deployments were typically done in a daisy chain fashion, and you just needed to install a small resistor onto each end of your network to properly terminate. For compatibility, Farallon released PhoneNet adapters with both the DIN8 and DB9 plugs, which covered Macintosh models right back to the 128K, along with the Apple II GS and some third-party Apple Talk devices. Farallon also released devices such as repeaters and hubs, allowing for a number of different network design topologies to be used. Now let's take a look at some of the different adapters I've got in my collection. Okay, so in my vintage Mac collection, I think I've got somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 to 100 phone net connectors. Uh, I don't really need that many, but uh, a lot of these I purchased um, last year from a guy who was uh, offloading his entire vintage Mac collection, and a lot of it came from uh, schools or something like that. Uh, so yeah, I do have a number of Phonet connectors and a few different types. Before we jump into that though, I will point out the... Um, so I mentioned this in the video already. Uh, this is the actual Apple branded uh, local tuck um, adapter here. So this is the plug that goes into the back of the Mac, either in the printer or the phone port. And as you can see, it's got a uh, proprietary plug here, which is uh, this cable here. And it's like a twisted pair shielded cable or something like that. And I think the going rate for these cables um, from Apple at the time was somewhere in the, in the neighborhood of like a dollar a foot. So if you were going to do a large network, um, you would be paying like a lot of money for these cables. And I believe the Apple cables for this, um, I think they made only up to about a thousand feet for a total length. So you were limited to how far the solution would go. And that's, I think, one of the reasons why the phone net adapters were uh, much more popular and of course cheaper for the cables. So yeah, I do have one of these and then a lot of phone net adapters. So the one that I think a lot of people are gonna be familiar with is this type here. Um, I have, these are the ones that I have the most of, uh, this design here. And this exact design is the, uh, the kind that my old school used to have. So uh, yeah, I like, I like these, this style a lot. Um, I have no idea what, um, what year this was released um, compared to some of these other ones, but yeah. So I think this is definitely one of my favorites. But um, before we jump into all of the other types of uh, adapters I've got here, I will point out this is what the little um, resistor terminator thing looks like. So I believe this is a 120 ohm resistor. And when you're building your phone net uh, network, you need to put one of these at each end of your network if you're doing like daisy chain network. Now, I believe your network will still work uh, without this, but there's probably some technical reason why you shouldn't run it without these terminators. Uh, it might like degrade your signal over distance or something like that, but yeah, it's basically just a, uh, a phone jack with a resistor in it and plugs right into the adapter there. So the other type that I have that is um, actual Farallon um, branded phone net adapter is the phone net plus. So the other one that I had there, it just says phone net on it. So this one says phone net plus. 
Uh, physically, it's a bit larger than the other one, um, and I actually have absolutely no idea what the differences are inside, uh, if there even is any difference. So, yeah. Now, another interesting one. This is the same thing. This is, uh, actually, this one does not have any branding on it whatsoever, but it looks fairly close to this okay so yeah it's a little bit different um the reason i grabbed this one out of my bin was because it had this little chain attached to it with the uh with the terminator resistor on here and i thought this was uh, kind of a neat invention so you could just like uh well so you wouldn't lose this plug when you were building your network you'd always have one chained right to the adapter so yeah that's uh that's pretty funny um now, if we look at other ones that look that uh, that look kind of like that style, um, so I mean, like, yeah, these these all look exactly the same, but this one says TurboNet on it, and I guess these are like maybe clones of the phone net connector. So probably inside here, it's the exact same thing, but just a different company that it was actually manufacturing these. Uh, I don't imagine there's really anything uh, that complicated inside here. Probably just uh, a couple chips or resistors or who knows what. So, yeah. Uh, this one. Same deal. It looks exactly the same as those other types there. And this one is uh, just says telephone talk. And, yeah. I have no idea if what brand or whatever this is supposed to be so yeah it's kind of strange uh another third party one here this one doesn't have a brand on it um but i think i remember this one uh, i think i remember seeing this one in a picture uh, i think the people who made this one i think they were called like focus or something like that uh, i think it had focus in the name uh, i could be wrong but that's kind of what i remember um yeah, I'm not too sure, but I've got a few of these ones. Um, the last one here is actually from Farallon. Uh, this is kind of like a, a, a very compact phone net adapter. So this end you'd plug directly into the back of your Macintosh, and then it would give you one phone jack there to actually uh, build your network. So this would be um, a very compact solution. Maybe if you were using like a, uh, a power book and you were connecting to a single phone jack uh, on the wall uh, as part of a larger network and you needed something that was travel sized, um, this would be a convenient solution for that. And I believe this is actually the only one of these ones that I have. So yeah, I think these uh, weren't as popular as some of these other ones. And well, what have we got here? Just on their... Uh, spare resistor so for building actual networks with these um yeah i've only ever seen these in daisy chain solutions where you would have a phone line going from here over to here and then you'd have the next jack here going to like way over here and then the one over here jumping over to yet another adapter and then you would just have terminators on the last ones that you, uh, the last jacks that you weren't using. And according to the manual, you really don't want to do a loop network. Uh, I'm assuming that would make something bad happen. Maybe your network wouldn't even work at all. So don't try to make it into like the shape of a ring. It needs to be a daisy chained. Um, yeah, otherwise your network might not work or who knows what. But uh, yeah, this is basically just uh, an overview of the uh, phone net stuff that I have in my collection. Um, it would be nice to have some of those uh, more advanced phone net solutions, like if you were doing uh, hubs or switches. There were a few products I think they, uh, they made for that purpose. So if you were connecting a bunch of different smaller phone net networks together, um, aside from just having one giant string of, of computers you could actually split them off a bit but um, I've never actually seen one of those in use so I can't really comment on uh, on those but yeah for standard home networks or small office or schools um, 
yeah, these connectors would have been probably what you would have seen in use. So, yeah. So I think that wraps up the basics about phone and adapters. If you're looking for more information, there is a link in the video description, which will take you to my vintage computing wiki, and you can find a link to the original 1987 user's guide. And if you're also interested in how I filmed that intro sequence with the slow motion, that was on the Panasonic GH5 camera at around 180 frames per second. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching.